An empty three-story building across the street from the Allen Co County Courthouse may have been the target of an arson fire. The third major fire in a large vacant building in the last month. That fire was spotted at about 2.30 this afternoon by a county courthouse employee who turned in the alarm. The fire originated in the space between the third floor ceiling and the roof. And fire officials say that is an unlikely spot for a naturally caused fire to begin. Definitely a very suspicious fire. Uh, it is arson. We know it's arson. It's just a matter of if we can get some help from the citizens, if somebody has seen something or something that uh, looks suspicious in the area or an individual, we'd be very happy to talk to them, hear from them as much as possible in case there is fear involved, keep it uh, confidential. Before the fire was brought under control, all off-duty firefighters were called in. A gap in the fire wall with an adjacent building caused the fire to spread to it. Jack Conaway of 4185 St. John's Avenue in Lima owns the building. He bought it in 1978. The damage, evaluated by replacement costs, is being estimated at $50,000. Fire officials continue to investigate the origins of this fire to see if it may be linked to fires at Northrop Seed and a railroad warehouse some three weeks ago. Fire at an Ohio power truck, which was under repair at a Midas muffler shop in Lima this afternoon, caused a fire that spread to several other vehicles and part of the shop itself. Hugh Grothaus was uh, one of the six persons in the building, none of whom were hurt. The first flash or the second flash that I saw was, uh, came out near the exhaust pipe next to the gas tank. And uh, with that, it broke out the flames completely over the back end of the car van. Fire spread rapidly through the repair shop, and there was concern that the presence of gasoline and acetylene would be dangerous. No one was hurt, but damage placed at $140,500.